right, you guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting on a stack of tires with this car behind me. Well, I wanted to convert one of my favorite cars of all time to electric. And I wanted to do this to cut pollution and create awareness that kids my age can make a difference. So I bought this car with the money I gained from selling grapefruit as part of a co-op. So I picked the grapefruit and then I put it in a bin and then we sold it. And so I paid for this car using that money. So I wanted the Porsche because, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And why would I not want a Porsche? Porsches are amazing. And so when I was looking for a car, because I kind of wanted to do this project, and so I was looking for a car, and I found this amazing deal for this Porsche 914 back here. So the previous owner had already tried to convert it to electric. So it already had a electric motor in it. We're just going to put new technology in it and make it like almost brand new, even better than it was brand new. So it already has a 144 volt DC motor, a battery system, a Curtis 550 amp controller, a f and a 40 mile range. So I want about 150 to 200 mile range. So here's how it happened. I'm 11 years old. You're gonna, you're gonna convert a, a Porsche to electric? Yes. Congratulations to Frances on her new Porsche. Porsche 914 is my first car. Okay, Frances, I look forward to meeting you. You sound like a really neat little girl. Thank you. Alright, so we bought that Porsche. We're at U Hall right now, getting a trailer for the car. We are going to go pick it up. We're going to drive to Nevada from California. Let's go. We are at the place where the Porsche is, and I'm about to see it for the first time. This was called a mid-engine car. The engine used to be right here. So it had two trunks, here and there. I'm so excited it's actually happening. This is in way better condition than I expected. Now to load up and drive back before our trailer rental time runs out. back at home and we are unloading the Porsche. Yeah. Last night we slept for four hours at a rest stop somewhere. So, I'm pretty tired. Just so you guys know, uh, I am not the only one doing this. I am getting help. If you guys are wondering, my dad's helping me. Um, I'm learning to weld, I'm going to learn to paint this car, and I'm so excited to paint it, guys. Oh, dang it, my hand was shaky. We're just taking the before shots now. This car is going to look amazing by the time it's the time. Open this. There we go. So this is the front. This is where seven of the batteries are located. And yeah, so we're just gonna go on ahead and screw them apart. So I'm just gonna put on some. These are chemical gloves, and because we're hand, hand handling batteries, we're gonna need these. I'm a squid. This is gonna take forever. So these gloves, mm, not happening. I'm just gonna get some help lifting out these batteries when I do take them out. So let's keep going. So 
For the dead batteries, we're going to recycle them for money. So we just took out all seven of these batteries. We still got the nine in the back. This car is practically doing a wheelie. All right, so we're at the battery recycling place and we're about to recycle these batteries. I've only seen like the confetti New Year's version of this. $359.37 for those batteries. to find like equipment that'll fit me because I'm kind of small, you know? I want to meet electric vehicle legends, Porsche experts, like people who are amazing at welding, and painters. So if you enjoy seeing me convert a normal gas car to a car that'll run off the sun, make sure you like and subscribe to Tinker Engineering. And if you or your company wants to help me with this project, by sponsoring me, that would be so, so, like, amazing. All right. Bye.